If you can believe it, you can receive it. If you can conceive it, you can attain it. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. He fights you in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head with stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, it's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you can stop you from being free. Grab yourself by the head and say, we're coming out of this. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. You've got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they want to invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listens to you, including singing to yourself. You got to write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. Stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. So what I say to you, that you are powerful. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. And that the key to your motivation as you get a larger vision of yourself is to know that you have something to give. Is to know that you have a reason for being in the universe at this point in time. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe that everything is going to be all right. You are not where you're supposed to be because of you. It's all you. You tell yourself lies, reasons. I'm too tired. I need to rest. I'm too hungry. I'm too full. Something else is more important. I don't have time. Lies, 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 lies. People ask where discipline comes from. I tell them it comes from within. But there's a deeper level. Discipline comes from the truth, the framework of discipline. And if you lie to yourself, you will not find discipline. The truth is that you know. You know you could do more. You know you could be more. That's what's driving you crazy. All your excuses are lies. The truth will set you free. The truth delivers discipline. But the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline 
to get it done. Don't really want to work out? I work out. Don't really want to hammer on a project? I hammer on a project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed? I get up and get out of bed. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the projects. Get out of bed. Anybody can do the sh** they want to do when they feel like doing. Anybody could show up to work and give 100% when they're in the mood to do so. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing? What happens on the days you don't feel like going to the gym? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the f***ing days that are going to define where you end up in your life. Nobody wakes up in the morning every day of their life fired up. The reason I'm successful is because I execute whether I have the f***ing fire or whether I don't have the f***ing fire. And that's discipline. That's discipline to do the sh** that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be f***ing done. You do something away from the normality of what you've been doing. Why not try it, man? Shock the system. Get up at 4 in the f***ing morning one day. Just one day. And go for a f***ing run. Commit to one day and see how you feel as you're jogging it back in around 5 or something. As your neighbor is still asleep. Well, your day's already provided something for you. Mentally, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was a f***ing lie. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable, we shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker, I'm going to introduce myself to it. When we talk about regret, I can one thousand percent guarantee you that how you feel about your life at the end of your time here is going to come down to your ability to cultivate discipline it's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to can do because we are what we repeatedly do every day therefore excellence is not an accident but a habit it's a visceral it's in us every single day the people that are top movie stars over and over and over again that's not not lucky it's training to win it to earn it over and over again you gotta do your best work when you're at least motivated so those days you don't want to do it guess what you gotta do you gotta suck it the fuck up and do it nobody is void of a pit at some moment just because you're in a pit does not mean it's over you keep standing no matter how rough the sea you keep standing no matter what you don't give up because i gotta keep moving even though everything in me wants to just lay down and quit you can't read somebody else's book about some theory on how to do sh some guy who sat up in a nice warm office and wrote some book with a nice cup of coffee in the fucking hand no i want to see that guy who immersed himself in fucking hell and he thought about quitting and leaving and his wife and his kids and why am I here? Is it worth it? All this crazy sh** and found out a way to get through it. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in the f***ing sewer to get you. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, I'm a f***ing. There's a way through this. There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. For every situation you confront, there is a strategy that will bring you out. The only thing that's going to make you happy is to step up. It's to raise the standard. It's to discover what you're capable of and feel that incredible power pushing through whatever's holding you back and get to the other side of more of your true self. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day and it hurts, and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. I'm telling somebody right now, your lowest moment will be the place of your greatest testimony. You got more than you think. You can do more than you think. You can go further than you think. You can have more than you think. And stop blaming somebody else over what you don't have. It's time for you to know what you got in your hand. If 
If you take a minute and look at your life, every time you're about to step into new territory, all hell breaks loose and sends a storm to stop you from getting there. The situation that you're dealing with right now will come to pass. It will come to pass. It came to pass. Get over it. Don't worry about it. Don't build a house in it. It will not last. You will still be standing there telling your children, I remember the time. I thought I was going to die, but some kind of way we made it out of that. This will come to pass. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, it will enable you to transcend yourself. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money, but I was still believing. Down on my knees, I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was still believing. You gotta toughen up, and you gotta stand still, and you gotta gird up the loins of your mind, and you gotta take a defensive stand against the enemy, against the spirit of give up, against the spirit of human reasoning, and you gotta stand there and and protect and preserve your heart and those unborn things that are inside of your spirit. You gotta fight to protect them. Now, a few of you know what it is to have something to so scald you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you that your fight goes out of you. And you're so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you could ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies and you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm gonna turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. 
Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Don't get your doggone stuff. And don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. There are many people who have the limitations in their minds, who have lost that fire in their eyes, who because of the experiences of life have said, no, I can't do that. A lot of people never try anything differently because they have been convinced by people in their lives that they can't do it. They're living within the context of the opinions that other people have of them, the low expectations. Many people doubt themselves because when they thought about doing something at some critical point in their life, somebody they respected and honored, someone they trusted said, you can't do that. And they accepted that. People's opinion of you is none of your business, nor should you make it yours. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. What would your life be like if you decided not to care what people thought of you? What would your life be like if you decided to give up some of your fears? What would your life be like if you decided to become courageous? So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your coworkers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Ridicule is the price of iconic. You are going to divorce yourself from the crowd. You are going to be met by the naysayers, the critics. They are going to laugh at you. Your job is to fortify your interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. Your success in any level creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, you got that blanket giving you a warm hug. And you got the, the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay, telling you to stay just a little longer. But don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. 
You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's true to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you ready to hunt. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Write down one or two things that you're going to commit to doing every single day, no matter what. You're going to use that motivation to become a machine every single day, no matter what. You don't think about it. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That is what transforms you. It's not the grand visions, it's the tiny actions that move towards a worthy ideal. The good feelings in your body is an indication that there's something that you want. Now you get to work by doing it every single day.